There are two archaeotypes that women will typically always be obsessed with. Number one is the pretty boy and number two is going to be the bad boy. Obviously looking like a bad boy is not even half the part. This is literally like 10 to 20% of the part. That's why this is going to be a two part series on how to look like a bad boy today. And then the next video in the series will be how to act and behave like a bad boy. So today I'm going to break down step by step exactly how to look like a bad boy. Let's go. Bad boy aesthetic is essentially the definition of not giving a fuck. So it's very aesthetically pleasing, but at the same time, it's rugged. It has an edge to it. Now, a lot of people, they dress like they're NPCs. Like the last thing you want to do is look like you're about to go to your nine to five. So we do not want to look super clean. We don't want to look just like a Steve, you know, and if your name is Steve, I'm sorry. I'm just saying somebody basic who just has a very average life and a very average image. Now the first visual thing that you will notice with a bad boy is not actually a super physical thing. It's more so the energy. They're going to be hyper masculine and have very dominant alpha body language. So overall, this means that the bad boy is going to be walking through the world as if he's not scared of anybody. Like he will look anybody in the eye. Overall, he walks very confidently, almost like he is on the red carpet, like he is a male model man, like he has insane amount of confidence. He walks like he is floating. Now, obviously, this has a very hyper masculine edge as well, meaning that if anybody looks at him funny, like he'll get very aggressive with other men like this is part of the bad boy archetype. The hair, we essentially have four options. Number one is going to be bald. So this is from my homies. Let's say you have male pattern baldness genetically. You're losing most of your hair. It's much better, my guy, just to shave it. Go with the bad alpha persona. This will look very badass. Now up next is going to be the buzz cut. Now this is if you have a very good hairline, the buzz cut looks good. You have a very square shape. Uh, your forehead isn't super big. So overall, this will look very badass. Up next is going to be short on the sides long on top, but instead of doing that white boy shit to where we slick it back very respectfully, almost like you're Bruce Wayne, we're not going to do that. We're gonna have it very messy. Maybe you can color it a little bit if you want to, but once again, this will look very bad boy. And then the last hairstyle is for the long hair homies because long hair is the definition of rebelling against society. Now, I used to actually have long hair, man. I miss it. I actually cut it because I went back into the matrix years ago and I just haven't grown it back out. Maybe I will one day, man. Now, overall appearance, I would almost say it's like a combination of the pretty boy and the bad boy. So you're not going to have any acne. You're not going to look messy. You're not going to look greasy, anything like this. You're going to have very clear skin. Your eyebrows will look kept up, but not like it's overdone. And overall, man, you look like you take care of yourself. So this is going to be very important. We're not trying to look dirty. We're not trying to look greasy. This will completely kill the bad boy aesthetic. Now, obviously, the clothes will be pretty much one of the biggest aspects of the bad boy aesthetic. So we have a lot to talk about. When it comes to this aesthetic, we need to pretty much essentially completely cut out any colors. Now, like I've spoken about in the past, Personally, I really pretty much only wear black, but to follow this aesthetic, you don't have to do that, man. I think the best thing is just monochrome fits. So this means black, whites, grays. Every now and then you can branch out to maybe like some tans, some khakis, uh, some pastels, stuff like this. But for the most part, I think black and white is plenty. Tank tops will pretty much be your friend. Tank tops are like the essential to the bad boy aesthetic. So go get some fitted muscle tank tops and white and black and then up next we need a good fitted t-shirt once again white and black and then up next we want two jackets all right we want a jean jacket preferably in black and then we want a leather jacket once again preferably in black and then we want some good jeans i believe the perfect jeans for this aesthetic would be the levi's straight fitted black jeans this would be perfect meant to nail down the bad boy aesthetic and then obviously a good belt to took all of these outfits into so man this is obviously if you cannot tell it's very minimal and pretty much anybody can rock this but you don't see a lot of people rocking this man and especially the monochrome fits because it breaks societal norms that is pretty much the key thing with the bad boy aesthetic it breaks societal norms like you don't look like you blend in you are quite literally the black sheep 
You're that guy over there wearing nothing but all black, wearing all this jewelry, looking like he just doesn't care. Like, that is the bad boy, man. Let's move down to shoes. So we have four options. Okay, first of all, we can go with some Jordans if you want to kind of go with the gangster look. And then number two, we can go with the all black AF1s. I'm not a fan of the all white AF1s. I think they look pretty basic in my opinion. Number three, you can go with boots, which will typically be the go-to, you know, like some black or brown boots that look insanely badass. And then number four, this is for the dressier, more like mafia type bad boy, but you can go with some leather loafers, man. This will look so sick. Now, previously with the outfit, if you want to level up, by the way, go classier with it, but more bad boy. Change out those Levi's for some slim fit dress pants and then change up the upper half, man, with just a plain black button up. And this will look so badass. This will look so mafia. Obviously, whenever you look at men in modern day society, not a lot of men wear jewelry of any kind. This kind of goes against society norms. So for you to rock this aesthetic, jewelry is going to be essential. So first of all, it starts with the watch. You're not going to see a bad boy wearing an Apple watch. It's going to be very rare. So he will typically have a real watch. This one is just like a Swiss watch. It's got the leather band, it's just very basic. Now, in addition to this, it's gonna come bracelets. Now, everything, by the way, guys, it should all be real. It should all be sterling silver as well. I think sterling silver is going to be the key with this aesthetic. So, you want chains, you want rings, and then you want chains on the neck and anything like this. But from my personal experience, I think in the past, I've overdone it. I've worn too much stuff at once. So, I think keeping it simple, keeping it minimal, to a couple key pieces will be much better. So one of the basic bitch principles of the bad boy aesthetic, it's going to be tattoos, lots and lots of tattoos. Tattoos can look very sick, depending on the person, just here's the thing with tattoos, man. Make sure it has meaning, make sure it looks very sick and it's unique. I see way too many guys, they get sleeves, they get all these bad boy tattoos and it just looks cheesy. So the last thing you ever want to do is look cheesy with your tattoos, make sure they're unique, Personally, I'm gonna keep it clean, man. I'm gonna keep my skin clean. I don't want a whole bunch of tattoos. I wanna keep things like a blank slate. But if you get lots of tattoos, obviously, that's going to be one of the quickest ways to add the edge to look like a bad boy pretty much instantly. And that's how most people will perceive you if you're covered in tattoos. This is still in the realm of the visuals, okay? But the bad boy is typically going to be seen with bad bitches. This is essential to look like the bad boy. Now, it doesn't matter what your sexual preference is. Personally, I'm straight, but you get the point. You want to be seen with bad bitches, very attractive people. So you go to my Instagram, obviously I have posted bad bitches in the past. That's going to be the key. You can post them on their stories, on your feed. You just have to make it obvious that you are not dating these women. And then having the associations with the bad bitches, it's going to be key as well. Meaning that you follow these bad bitches, they follow you back. And any woman who goes through your following list can see this very easily. This is pretty much subliminally programming into anybody's mind that these are the types of women that you go for. And so it'll automatically make the woman feel a little bit insecure. Let her know that there's competition. If a woman doesn't think that there's competition, she will not want you to begin with. To nail down this aesthetic, your mode of transportation is also very important. It's going to be hard to be perceived as a bad boy if you're cruising with the Honda Civic. So no offense if you drive a Honda Civic, it's very reliable, it's a good option, but we want two options when it comes to modes of transportation. Number one, it's basic, a motorbike, a motorcycle, something like this. Personally, where I live, this is kind of what I rock. So if I pick a girl up on my motorbike, we can go anywhere, man. It's very fun and it's very badass. Now, the second option, much safer than the motorcycle, it's going to be a sports car. So something affordable that you can get if you want pre-owned, it's like a 350Z, 370Z, very sick. Those are my personal favorites outside of Saabs. I love Saabs. And obviously if you wanted a brand new car, you could get like a three series BMW, Mercedes C-Class, or some of my favorites, just the basic American muscle, like a Mustang, Camaro, things like this. Looks very badass, man. You'll be perceived as a bad boy if you were cruising in these. The best for last, because I talk about this way too much, but you will not look like a bad boy if you're fat or skinny and weak. It's just essential, man. Like no one will respect you. Men will not respect you if you look out of shape. Women will not respect you if you look out of shape. 
having a chiseled physique is pretty much signaling to the world, like, hey, I'm a bad motherfucker, like, I take care of myself, and if you cross me, I'm strong enough to destroy you if needed. So, getting chiseled, looking like a Greek god, is essential. This means we need to be at a low body fat percentage, 10 to 12 percent, to show the definition, to get that jawline, because the jawline is going to make you look even more bad, and then having the muscle to back it up. If anybody watching this needs help building that physique, link in the description box for a free one on one consultation with me, Austin Wayne. Also, guys, KaloSeek.com for the best supplements in the fitness industry. We have pre workout, whey protein, creatine, high growth supplements, all of it. KaloSeek.com, link in the description box. Also, if you're new, subscribe to the channel, man, and like this video to push it out into the YouTube algorithm. That's it, I'm gone.